Explorer Tales, The South Pole. Let's go south. It is cold and windy. Snow and ice stretch out as far as the eye can see. Where is this lonely place? It is the South Pole in the center of Antarctica. Did you know the seas around Antarctica freeze solid in the winter? This is called pack ice and it can trap ships. A pole is one end of an imaginary line that goes through the center of Earth. Earth has two poles, one in the north and one in the south. At the poles, in the winter, the sun never rises and in the summer, it never sets. Did you know the southern lights sometimes light up the skies over Antarctica? Exploring Antarctica. Trudging across an icy, windy landscape is hard. Dragging all your supplies along is even harder. Antarctica has very few plants and animals only live near the coast. Did you know many polar explorers got the disease scurvy? Eating fresh penguin or seal could prevent it. Yum! Huge rivers of ice called glaciers move over Antarctica. Early explorers. The first people to visit Antarctica were sailors hunting seals and whales. They were not interested in the South Pole. In the 1800s, Britain's James Clark Ross sailed near the coast of Antarctica to map it. Ross Sea was named after him. This ice shelf was also named after Ross. The race is on. In 1910, a British explorer named Robert Scott sailed for Antarctica. Then he received a telegram. Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen was heading for the South Pole as well. It would be an amazing race. Amundsen's ship the Fram was light and strong. Amundsen started earlier, but Scott had more men. Amundsen's team skied and used dogs to pull their sleds. Scott's men pulled their sleds themselves. Who would get there first? Scott's men ate the same thing every day for three months. So here are your challenges, your menu activities. One, new learning noodles. Share three things you learnt about Antarctica from this book. Second activity, prediction pudding. Who do you think will win the race to be the first people to reach the South Pole? Scott and the British team or Amundsen and the Norwegian team? Do you think they will even make it?